by the age of 26, I'm starting to go to the Tavistock and Portman Clinic. I'm starting to understand psychotherapy. I'm starting to go to classes around kind of forensic psychotherapy, uh, studying with psychoanalysts, doing my trauma courses, my violence courses, and starting to see this at a completely, not necessarily a completely different angle, but having a language and having the tools to professionalize what I'm doing and to put some better boundaries in place to, to be able to describe what it is that I'm doing, not only to others, but to myself and to process some stuff. And it also started me on my journey of my healing because prior to that, I was literally working because I was in so much pain and I was trying to stop my pain by stopping other people's pain. And I was predominantly working with the people that reminded me of the people that I'd lost. So there was a lot of projection and there was a lot of transference and counter-transference in, in this world. And it was just unclean work. So if you knew me prior to 26, 27, 28, or you hear any of my work there, I just apologize. Okay, I didn't know no better. But this kind of clinical journey really kind of started to clean up a lot of things for me. I was still hurt, I was still in pain, I was still processing my trauma, I still am. But it allowed me to start to bridge the gap between what we were going through in the community and what people thought about us and our pain and our trauma and our violence and I started to become the person that bridged the gap so I could then kind of speak to the guys that I was working with with this language and break this language down and get them to understand themselves a little bit more and the, the women and then go back to these institutions and say well actually you've got it wrong here and this is this and this is that and I think from that I just got completely addicted to education so I went and did my, my master's when I was 30 in SOAD. And I don't have A-levels, I don't have an undergrad. So I went straight from GCSEs to master's. And it was one of the best decisions of my life because it just, again, it opened me up. So now um, I'm doing a master's in neuroscience of mental health. I'm also doing a double diploma in naturopathic nutrition and mental health. But I think I'm probably gonna not do the full master's and go into PhD because I've been offered PhD. Um, at the end of this year, so completely and utterly addicted to education at the moment. 